to achieve our first boot, we are going to power our motherboard. We already powered our CPU plug when we were installing our all-in-one water cooling system. So we are done with that. Next step is to connect our ATX 24 pin motherboard plug, and after which we will plug our GPU card with its 8 pin power plug. On the back of our case, we will need to connect at least two plugs. The first one will be a 4 pin Molex plug, which will power our three 120mm high pressure front facing fans. The second plug will be connected to a power SATA plug. And this will enable all the LED lighting around our front facing fans. And that's going to be really, really cool to watch at the end of this video. Now, to connect those back plugs, we are going to install a couple of modular cables. First one shown on your screen is a power SATA cable. Those are the power SATA plugs. And this is a PSU plug which will connect directly into the power supply unit. The second modular cable is our 4-pin Molex cable. Three plugs are available on the cable and this is our PSU plug which as well will connect directly into our power supply unit. The connection of the modular cables is pretty straightforward. You can plug them in in any available outlet on your power supply unit. In blue and on your screen, you can see the different power hubs that we are going to connect with our power SATA cable. Now, when plugging it in, make sure to follow the orientation of the plug. If you have any doubt, double check it. Our second modular plug will simply power our three front facing fans. Again, make sure to follow the orientation of the plug and simply plug it in. And now comes the turn of our motherboard. And we are going to start with a 24 pin ATX plug. And that is the largest plug available on your PSU. You cannot miss it. The second plug that we are going to use is our 6 plus 2 pin PCI Express, which will power our video card. Now pay attention, you will need to press the 6 plus 2 pins such as this, so that it fits perfectly into the video card plug. All right, let's start with our 24 pin ATX plug. On your left screen and in red, you see where it will sit. The first thing we are going to do is to send our plug to the back of our case using the lower cable hole. And using the upper one, we will send back the same plug to the front side of our case. This will allow a cleaner cable management and we can now easily plug our ATX 24 pin onto the motherboard. Now, again, please make sure to respect the orientation of the cable. If you feel any kind of resistance, stop and check it again. This is very important at this stage to get it right. All right, now we are going to feed our VGA card with its 6 plus 2 pin PCI Express plug. And here it should be pretty simple. Simply use a very same procedure we just saw with our previous cable. Okay, cable management, a controversial topic. Everybody has its own habits and rules when it comes to managing their cables. Truth is, there is no right or wrong. I'm just going to show how I do it and feel free to do the same. Just keep in mind that the principle is to keep your cables away from any moving parts or any rotating blades. Other than that, feel free to experiment. 